Hello beautiful people. So today, unfortunately, I do not have all the colors in this one. It was a mix of a lot of leftover paints from various paintings and I custom mixed most of those colors. So I'm sorry y'all, I just don't have them. And um, you know, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but I wanted to say thank you so much to my supporters, Lori W, Siam M, and Melanie D. You know, you guys, this helps me bring more art videos just for you when you support my channel. And every little bit helps, even tiny donations. So the link to PayPal is in the description box below. If you find my videos helpful, please donate. Or you could visit my shop and buy a painting like this one. Do you remember Plumeria? This painting, if you can believe it or not, is still for sale. And I put a sale price on it today for you guys. This gorgeous painting is in person stunning. And I think it's one of the prettiest paintings I've ever made. There is a video for this one. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out, Plumeria. And you could make it yours at my shop at heathermater.com. So if you're interested, that's where you go. You guys, so I had the best plans for this one. You know how we all have plans for things? Well, I had a plan and my plan was I was going to do four flip cups, flip and drag up and two flip and drags down. So I started off by filling all of the four cups on the bottom with the same colors and just, you know, methodically trying to get them um, similar, you know. I could tell you I can see some of the colors that I used in this, but I just didn't want to give you exacts because I'm not totally sure. Um, but that bright orange is that Soho orange. That's a Hansa yellow. I can see the 24 karat gold there for a deco art. Um, there's definitely Elizarian crimson at the bottom. I think that was one of the colors I saw. And then that's that uh, champagne. It's kind of a bronzy champagne color that I make with one of my pigments um, by Color Art. So if you guys can see, <laughs> This is my best laid plan right here as I'm going along and then I bloop, <laughs> whoops. So here's an instant replay of that moment. Uh, I just knocked the cup over and then had no choice but to drag it up. So suddenly my whole plan for the perfect flip and drag for up into down was no longer a plan because sometimes we just have to go with the flow when when something happens and so that's what happened to me so i just decided to go with the flow and i started adding some black in the spaces and then i add gold that's the 24 karat gold let's get some sparkle in there and then I add, that's like a Viridian green, if I remember. That's a Windsor and Newton color. Um, as I'm watching this, I'm realizing I do know what a lot of the colors were. Although a lot, a few of them were still, you know, custom mixed. Um, this one though is the Golden Brands Green Gold. And I love their green gold. It has such a bright and fresh meadow spring look to it and then this is probably just hands of yellow because I really only have one yellow I um, maybe the Indian yellow hue and the hands of yellow and I think that's the, this is just the hands of yellow yellow is really easy to manipulate by just adding a little tiny bit of white you get a lemon yellow or a little tiny bit of red and you'll get more of an orange a little tiny bit of brown and you'll get like an Indian uh, hue so it's it's pretty easy to manipulate so I 
just kind of by the cadmium yellow light hue from Liquitex Basics or the Golden Hansa yellow and keep it at that. So, um, this painting is definitely a journey and I, I had to speed it up you guys. It took a couple hours to do at least. Um, I know at this point I am not, I'm liking certain parts um, and I am not liking other parts. So, you know, I thought about doing a swipe and that's what I decided. That's like a Titan buff color, so not white, but a Titan buff. And then I decided, oh, I'm going to do a swipe. So that's my thought process on that. I wanted to address something that came up yesterday um, in a comment and it made me think, you know, you guys may not always understand um, what I'm saying in terms of what I'm saying <laughs> because you don't know me as a person, but <clears throat> I just want you to know I'm not trying to be uppity um, in any way when I suggest that you learn your medium, you learn your paints, and you learn how they work with each other. I understand as a newbie, if you are new, you might need a starting point. And I certainly suggest a, a great starting point is watching a ton of different artists. Um, everyone has their own teaching style. And I also suggest just using Floetrol water and paint because it's a great way to just <clears throat> start out with the basics. And once you get the basics down and understand how your paints work with just Floetrol and water, then you can start adding other things into the mix. And that place, uh, doing that for yourself, gives you a level of understanding that you just can't get just by watching and copying what other people do. So I, you know, someone had said that they were very, um, disappointed they couldn't even watch my video because it sounded like I was being snotty and I just want you to know <laughs> I really don't come from it um, that place at all I'm really coming from it uh, from a place of um, I know that's what I needed to do to learn how to paint and of course we always I watched a ton of people first and then I did a ton of tests and experiments as well. And that's what brought me to the level of painting that I'm doing today, was all of that practice. And, you know, it's just important <laughs> if you want to grow, um, you know, to find your own way. If you're that kind of an artist, it's a good thing to do. And I still highly recommend doing that. So. Anyway, I'm not trying to preach, just trying to let you know where I'm coming from. Um, and it, it truly is a humbling place. Uh, I want everyone to find their inner artist and be fearless. And we all need starting points. And we all, um, you know, should be progressing in our art. So that's just what I encourage because it's... Who I am as an artist so anyway what you can see is that I decided to do some swipes on the left side now I told you guys this is a journey so we had the original flip cups that didn't work out and then I put another flip cup in the center there and I really love the way that turned out there's so many pretty colors all intertwined with that gold in the center. Lots of fall colors, um, rust, orange. It really looks like a fall leaf. If you look on the ground and just see, you know, a fall leaf that's kind of changed all of its colors and it's really bright and lovely. There's a lot of those um, accents in the center. And then this black or maybe it is I think it's actually a brown like a deep Van Dyke brown right there so see how it's um, it just add a lot of movement 
in that corner as I did my little swipes through with the metallics coming up from the bottom, really pretty. So then I started doing my balloon rolls and part of the reason I wanted to is because I knew that underneath, way underneath those layers, I had put, remember that green gold I told you about and the Hansa yellow? So I know that the green is on one side of this painting, so I'm pretty excited to see if I can get it revealed by using the balloon and pulling up the paint. So you guys, that's what the balloon does. You know, it, it literally grabs onto some of the paint and it lifts off the top couple layers. And you'll see me adding white to my balloon. Someone asked, can I show how I do that? But honestly, I just do like a little circle. And then um, if it needs a little bit more, I'll just add another little circle. Or if I want colors to come through, I'll uh, grab some colors. Um, in this case, you see I'm getting a lot of kind of muddy look, so the white is helping bring some of the accents of the balloon rolls out. And also, as I continue to work on this, I'm getting some of the under colors to come through. And this is one of those paintings that you, in you just can't, um, and t I can't, actually this painting is sold and I cannot wait to send it to the buyer. She is going to be so <laughs> thrilled because I have not been able to truly capture what it looks like on film. And, um, you know, it ha this canvas has a lot of texture too. So I put mica flakes in the gold and they just provided like this little, um, you can see like little mica flakes throughout the painting wherever the gold part is. And I actually, at first I was like, oh no. And then actually I just love the end result because it does look very earthy and it really provides a lot of sparkle and texture. And I normally wouldn't, um, you know, put mica flakes in there so now did you see that green and yellow pop through right there up in that upper left hand corner this is why I named the painting the fall of summer because you still have the green on the left side the green and yellows coming through and they're kind of popping through all of those coppery uh, burnt orange you know, deep Van Dyke brown, all those beautiful fall colors, and kind of transitioning across the painting to the right, where you get into the Alizarian crimsons and the dark, dark brown over there. So it's like the fall of summer, you know, when the summer gives way to fall and the leaves all drop from the trees. And so that's where I was going when I named this painting. So I want to, um, you know, let you guys know this gallery wrapped canvas is a 16 by 20 and I'm going to start doing, I have been and I'm going to continue to do some smaller pieces so I can make the paintings a little more affordable, although I do love the big pieces. Um, but look at how pretty. So this is just some close-up shots. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all the little bright spots shining through that gold. That is my favorite part right there. It really looks like the veins of a leaf. There's so much movement going on in this piece and so much sparkle. And when you see, so this is um, the whole piece at the end after it's kind of settled down and then here it is dried and varnished. 
I use my varnish technique, the high gloss varnish technique with the resin like finish and you guys look at that sparkle. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. And like I said, this does not even begin to show you what this actually looks like in person. It is stunning. Now there's all those little mica flakes in there providing all that texture. Some people might not like that, but I think it just adds just a really beautiful earthiness to this painting. And that varnish technique um, adds a gloss and a shine, so there's an elegance and an earthiness in this painting. And I just really love it, and I know the buyer is going to be so happy. So, very beautiful. Thanks so much for watching Heather Mater Art, you guys. And please be a patron of the arts if you can. And I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.